Hey there, and welcome to development log number six. This week we are taking a look into the actual workflow of designing, coding, and building Broken Mirror 3. So with that we'll be talking with our main programmer, and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, how we finalize, finalize the aspects of the game. Before I start coding, I start by thinking on a problem I'm going to solve, and from there I build a diagram based on that thinking. By doing that, I can have a general idea of how each function works before I even begin the coding phase. In the meanwhile, I think of ways to streamline the script so we can reduce the processor and memory footprint of the game as much as we can. This method not only allows us to reduce the production time of the script, it also helps us to transmit the general function to people who might not understand the programming language in question. Also, by planting the code ahead, we can avoid many problems with the scripting, like spa spaghetti code, for example. After the syncing, I jump into monodevelop and proceed to put the ideas into practice. During that period, that can last from 15 minutes to several hours, I write the functions that are going to be used in several areas of the game. Lately, we've been focused on the player control of the ship, but we've also begun implementing some sort of AI for the NPC ships. And after the coding, we have testing and improving the visual effects of the game. For that, we have the Unity Editor. The Unity Editor has the ability to read the scripts written in MonoDevelop, check for errors, and also create a test build of the game in the Unity player. But the main focus of the Unity Editor is in building. We can import models and place them in the game scene. Those models put together with scripts and several other elements create the game objects that the player can interact with. While the game is being coded, we use placeholder objects until the code is deemed as working properly and then we go and improve upon the effects graphically. That's something you do afterwards. So for instance, something like once we had the, the ship model um, finalized, then we went through and did stuff like uh, add lights to the uh, to the nacelles and things that you can see here, see? Um, different effects. One of the things we're currently working on is the photon torpedo effect, which previously was just a, a glowing kind of uh, light orb, and once the uh, torpedo was finalized, then we started working on the animation. And we did that by using Photoshop to graphically create what we wanted the photon torpedo to look like, and then we brought that into Unity and replaced our old glowing object with our new photon torpedo. As we can see in the Unity player here, um, this is where we get to see our finalized effects. So for instance, the phasers, the shields, the lighting, the textures, everything. This is this is the result of all the coding and all the graphics work that's done. As we can see here, this is the uh, torpedo effect. It's still rough, needs some work, but uh, it's an improvement over that glowing orb we once had. Well, that's it for this week's development log. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about our workflow in creating BM3. Uh, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for, and tune in Fridays for our weekly development logs and to like our Facebook page.